What is up noobs and noobettes? Charles or Tingley here and I'm excited to show you all this new technique I found on Infinite Warfare. It's a technique you can use in the middle of gunfights to be more evasive and just be more of a difficult target to hit. Really think it's going to help a lot of you competitive players so hopefully a bunch of you check this out and utilize it in your gameplay. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this shit. Alrighty guys, so this is pretty much the technique. I've called this the wall spring. You can call it whatever the fuck you want to be honest, but let's face it, you heard it here first. And this is pretty much what it looks like right there. As you can see, it pushed me away from the wall about two to three meters. And the great thing about this technique is you do not need to be on the floor to do it as you can see here. And yeah, the higher you go, the further it projects you. You can also be shooting and aiming down sight and this thing still works. And yeah, man, I think this is going to be especially useful for you competitive players. It's going to give you more mobility in your gunfights, allow you to juke the enemy more, hopefully dodge their bullets, and give you more time to get your shots on target and finish that motherfucker off, man. But yeah, I'm going to show you some clips right now of me trying to do this in Black Ops 3. Pretty much trying to do the exact same thing I'm doing now in Infinite Warfare, and I was unable to replicate it. So this is definitely a new technique, and it was definitely a great find. I stumbled upon this by accident, and I'm so glad I did. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a hand cam now on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, if you were able to do the wall bounce in Black Ops 3, this is pretty much the exact same thing. Except in Black Ops 3, you would hold your left uh, your left thumbstick forward in order to bounce forward. Whereas in this, you want to hold your left thumbstick in your exit direction. So in this case, I want to exit to the right. So I'll be holding my left thumbstick to the right. And yeah, man, it's a pretty fucking sick technique. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you found this technique useful and you look forward to tips and tutorial videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, man. There's going to be a lot more tutorial videos coming out in the next few weeks. Also, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to drop a like. Always like seeing those like numbers <laughs> increase. I said like a lot of times. But yeah, leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this technique slash if you found it useful. Also, leave me a comment letting me know if you already knew about this. I'm sure many people don't, but I'm guessing some people have figured it out. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you found this useful. I'll catch you all in the next video. Until next time. Peace out, noobs.